Good morning, Year 6. It's Tuesday, so I've got Day 2 of Week 6 is Maths Answers for you today. So we've got another three questions to look at the answers for that you were set for Tuesday. Looking at question one, Tallulah has drawn a rectangle. The length of the rectangle is double its height. The height of the rectangle is six centimetres. What is the area of Tallulah's rectangle? And of course it's saying to us, don't forget your units. So looking back at that, I think the best thing to do in my workings out space is draw the rectangle. Now you could draw it to scale if you want to, but you don't need to, I haven't. On here, it says the height is six centimetres. If we're talking about a rectangle, technically we should be saying length and width. So the width is six centimetres and the length is double the height or the width in this case. So the length is double that, 12 centimetres. What is the area of Tallulah's rectangle? So I know to work out the area, I multiply the length by the width. So I'm going to multiply 12 by six. I don't need to do a calculation because I should know that that is 72 and it's saying don't forget your units. Remember, because it's showing the area that it's covering, we are measuring in centimetres squared. So the answer is 72 centimetres squared. Here are two numbers, 9,996 and 10,006. Circle the number closest to 10,000, then explain how you know. With questions like this, it is always really tempting to think 10,000, I can see 10,000, so it must be the answer on the right, 10,006. But this is um, a tricky one. Well, not a tricky one, but one that might catch you out. So I'm going to draw a number line to explain it. There's my 10,000, and I'm going to mark on there 9,996. Now, because I know that the number before 10,000 is 9,999, I know that the difference there is four, and you probably don't need to draw this because you can work it out. The difference between 10,000 and 10,006 is six. So I'm going to circle my answer. Now, if you'd drawn a number line like that, that would be fine as your explanation. So I'm going to write 9,996 is closest to 10,000 because, because it is four less than 10,000. That's still not enough to write. I need to add and 10,006 is six more than 10,000. So there's the solution to question two. The line graph shows how far EV cycled in one afternoon. So we can see that she started at zero here and she cycled here. By what time had EV cycled eight kilometers? So if I look at eight kilometers, if you've got a printed version of this, it's a good idea to draw a line. I can see that there's eight kilometers and I want to look at what time that was there. And I can't tell the exact time. I need to look at the scales. Again, don't guess the scales. By looking at the scale, I can see that halfway between three o'clock and four o'clock is there. So that will be 3.30. So the time that Evie reached eight kilometers will be halfway between 3.30 and four o'clock, which is 3.45. I've written it under there, but you've got my face instead. And I think even when I move it, you still can't see it. 3.45 p.m. should be what you've got in the box. How far did Evie cycle between her first and second break? And I've marked the breaks on there. You can see it's a break because she's not moving. So she's still six kilometers away from her starting point. So there's my first break and then my second break up here. So how far did she cycle between them? That's the difference there between six, where she finished her first break, and 10 kilometers, where she started her next break. So the difference will be four kilometers. So there's today's questions. What we'd like you to do to help us with our maths is if you've got the solutions to day four or day five, can you email them to Mr. Garley or I? And we're going to try and get some of you on Thursday and Friday showing the rest of the year group how you answered those questions. And I'll see you tomorrow for day three's answers.